Hello drummers and other creatures, I'm jumping on a bandwagon. There's been a whole hoo-ha apparently on social media about Meg White from the White Stripes and someone said she's not a good drummer and then some other famous drummers said she is a good drummer and what does that mean? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> if someone's a good drummer or not a good drummer, what does it mean? I, I, think, I think we need to think about these things and I've had it on my... Um, to-do list of things. You know, I'm making all these YouTube videos um, and I, I keep lists of stuff to make YouTube videos about and I have this song on my, my to-do list. So I'm gonna do it now. I'm jumping on the bandwagon about Meg White and uh, we're going to look at My Doorbell by The White Stripes. And it's cool, it, it's a great song and what does it mean to say that Meg White is a bad drummer or a good drummer? It's stupid. I'm sorry, that's what it is, because first of all, maybe somebody isn't a good drummer or a bad drummer, because it's a question of whether the drumming is good or not, right? So I am not a good drummer or a bad drummer, but am I doing good drumming or not? And it's, it's impossible to answer a lot of the time. But anyway, I love this song, it's great, it feels fantastic. So in the bandwagon context, it's a social media thing. I can do a YouTube with a thumbnail with Meg White and everybody's thinking about Meg White. Maybe that will bring the punters in, but this is a great one to learn. Learn how to play this, my doorbell. I, I didn't really like the White Stripes when it first came out. I don't like things when they first come out and over time I get to like them. That's the kind of person I am. It takes me a little while. And this is the song that made me like the White Stripes and think they're bloody good, right? Now, is Meg White a good drummer or not? I don't know. I don't think she plays the drums anymore. She, she was part of a cool rock and roll band and her drumming was really good. This is the part. I'm thinking about my doorbell. When are you going to ring it? Fantastic. Anyone can play that, right? Can you make it feel good? Yeah, you can. You can make it feel good if you feel the music. That's beautiful, right? Um, get into rock and roll and get into drumming with this stuff. Lots of people got into drumming through uh, Seven Nation Army. It's a kind of, you know, favourite sort of beginner song. It's simple stuff uh, and it allows you to express that energy that we love in, in rock and roll music, right? Um, anyway, so what's going on here? We've got basically the same pattern played in the first part of the song on the floor tom, and I'm referring to um, the live versions of this. Uh, in the recording, they probably layered up a few bits and bobs with various tambourines and things. And look, I've got this stick contraption. I don't know where I got it from. Uh, I, I never used it for anything, so that's one of the reasons I wanted to do this video to use this. It's kind of cool. I think if you're not careful, you could put the metal thingy through the head of your drum, but... Cool, Some, someone somewhere in a, in a meeting came up with this idea. I don't know. And it, it's all right. Yeah, go out, go out and get one of these plastic things. It's going to sit in the ocean for another 10 million years. And uh, in the meantime, you can have some fun with it. Now, we've got the, um, the ride part, or the, the eighth note, right hand as it is for a right-handed drummer playing right-handed kit. Uh, and all we're going to do is... Uh, how do I uh, count this out? One and two and three E, four and, okay? There's that little putting the brakes on thing, little jumpy thing going on there, which is very cool. Now, it occurs to me, maybe Meg White played that because it was easier for her than to work out the kind of normal coordination you do if you'd worked out this kind of thing. And, you know, maybe that um, raw playing, I, I read up on her and, you know, it sounds like she got together with Jack White 
and they decided to form a band and then she was like yeah I, let's let's do this drumming thing why not why not why not do that go and learn how to play this do anything go and get a gig right anyway so it's one and two and three e four and one and two and three e four and and we're going to accentuate the numbers one and two and three e four and one and two and three e four and for starters I'm being careful not to puncture my expensive calfskin head here, which I'm slowly falling in love with, but it has its quirks. Anyway, that's it. One and two and three E, four and. Now, the bass is on the one and then the three and the E. One, two, three, four, one. Three, four, and. Oh, see, look, I did the normal drummer thing. So far, so good. One, and two, and three, e, four, and. Now, the snare is on the two. And then the four and the under two. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. It's great. Very good, go out and play that. You can just learn how to do that, okay? Um, next, in the, I can't remember the bits actually. I think the, like the first bit is some floor tom, then it goes to the hi-hat, exact same thing, just the right hand on the hi-hat. Okay, good drumming, it's a thing that makes the song that you're drumming to feel good, that's all. Anyone can do it. You can go out and do good drumming. You don't have to spend hours and hours playing out of stick control. I mean, do that if you like, if that brings you joy. Go with my blessing. But you can do this, right, as well. You can do both of those things, play stick control and do this. Finally, we're on the, the not the right, the crash, right? And it's big, it's loud, still we're accenting the quarters really. Glorious. There you go. My doorbell by the White Stripes with the very fine drumming of Meg White, in my opinion. Anyway, that's that for today. Time for you to go off and practice. <laughs>